Earnings Yield One of the most important metrics for an investment is the rate of return. If you invest in a stock, what is the expected return? The earnings yield is one measure of a stock's expected return. It tells you how much the company expects to earn for every one rupee of stock you own. If a company has an earnings yield of 10%, it means that the company expects to earn 10 rupees for every 100 rupees worth of shares owned. The earnings yield is also the inverse of the price to earnings ratio. You can think of it like an earnings price ratio. The earnings yield and the price to earnings ratio contain the same information. The earnings yield can be used to compare different stocks or to compare a stock to a fixed deposit. When comparing between stocks, we prefer the stock with the higher earnings yield, assuming the companies are identical otherwise. We can also compare the earnings yield with the rate of return on a fixed deposit. Assuming no capital gains, it would not make sense to buy a stock with lower earnings yield than the return from a fixed deposit. This is because a stock is risky and can lose money. A fixed deposit gives you a guaranteed return. If the stock has a higher earnings yield than the fixed deposit, then you can determine whether the additional return is worth taking the risk. The earnings yield suffers from similar pitfalls as the price to earnings ratio. If a company has a high earnings yield, it could be because its out future outlook is poor and earnings are expected to fall significantly. Earnings can also be manipulated in the short term and investors must be aware of this when analyzing a company's earnings. The Earnings Yield Formula The earnings yield is the earnings per share divided by the market price per share. This is also the inverse of the price to earnings ratio. The market price per share is simply the stock price. The earnings per share comes from the most recent income statement. We multiply by 100% and report in percentage terms. Let's look at an example from Bajaj Auto. Suppose Bajaj Auto's current stock price is rupees 3135 and their most recent earnings per share is rupees 134. Using our formula gives us an earning yield of 4.27%. How does the earnings yield compare to other indicators such as the dividend yield or fixed deposit yield? The yield on a fixed deposit is simply the return from owning a fixed deposit. It is a safe and guaranteed return. If you are investing in stocks, which are risky, you should expect to earn above this rate. Now, earnings yield may not be enough to determine a stock's expected rate of return. Often, an earnings yield can appear low if the stock's earnings are expected to grow substantially. It can also appear low if you anticipate a large capital gain from owning the stock. Sometimes, the earnings yield can be of no use if a company is loss-making. The dividend yield is the percentage return on your investment coming from dividends. When a company makes a profit, it pays some of that out to shareholders as dividends. The rest is held as retained earnings, possibly for future investment. As a shareholder, you receive the actual dividend in your account. You do not receive the earnings yield. The dividend yield is not always comparable to the earnings yield. A fast-growing company may choose to pay no dividends and reinvest all its earnings into future growth. A mature company may pay a greater fraction of its earnings as dividends. A firm has more control over its dividend yield than earn its earning yield since it chooses how much to pay out in dividends. In the live data section, you can find the stocks with the most attractive earnings yield. And finally, please take a moment to read through this disclaimer.